Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got a watercolor Wednesday to share with you and I am using another image from Stamping Bella. This one is called Apple Cider Oddball. She is just adorable. So I'm working here on my Fabriano 140 pound hot press watercolor paper and I'm gonna stamp out my image there using my Simon Says Stamp Black Ink. I've got my trusty Ganzai Tambi watercolors and Santa Fe brushes and I'm going to go ahead and get everything colored in here. So for those of you who enjoy the process, I have sped this up quite a bit but left the majority of it here for you. Uh, for those of you who'd like to just watch the actual putting together of the card, you'll want to skip to around the five and a half minute mark. Thank you. 
So now that my picture is completely dry, I'm gonna trim out my front panel. I'm using the MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. This will give me a panel that measures three and three quarters by five inches. I'm working on a Nina panel trimmed to those same dimensions for the inside and I'm gonna stamp out my sentiment, again using that Simon Says Stamp black ink. I'm also gonna do a shadow stamping of the original image, um, just a portion of that towards the bottom here for something a little different on the inside. And I wanted to try and match the color from her scarf. So the closest I had was Versa Magic Perfect Plumeria. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this twice. This is a light ink, um, but with the second stamping, it comes through pretty clear here. I've grabbed a card base made from MFT's Elf Green. I'm gonna go ahead and add some foam tape behind my front panel to add a little bit of dimension, peel away the backing, and then I will place that on the top of my card base. And I'll add some ATG to the back of my inside panel and place that down as well. And that will complete the card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.